Hey there, welcome back to The James Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. It was, there was a hilarious story that just popped up about six days ago. Some former Sports Illustrated swimsuit model just now remembered that Trump had groped her back in the day. I'll give you the details on what happened to that story. It was just, it was just a story for, what, 24 hours? We, we threw the noodles against the wall and this one didn't stick? Yeah, but Why? Why? That's the key. But uh, I got I have some great uh, freelance James Show reporters standing by to give you their early voting report so you can find out how early voting is going on here in North Texas. So let's go ahead and go back to the phones here. This is Sylvia in Garland. Your early voting report on WBAP. Go. Okay. I promised you my adventure. I have a friend who's in a nursing home. Her son is cognitively impaired, but he still is able to vote, but he can't drive. I drove him over into Dallas, and he had his list of what the Dallas ballot was, and he had cognitive issues written on it. So if anyone gave him any problems, he could show them that. And I said, you tell them to give you all the time you need to vote, and you double-check your ballot before you put it in the machine. He said, okay. All the uh, races plus 24 criminal justice selections plus 18 propositions. The kid was phenomenal. So then I took him back home. I raced out to Garland to do my voting. Uh, About 10 people in line ahead of me, and uh, I got in quickly, voted, no problems with the machine, no problems with the calibrator. Uh, Excellent experience, as always, at the South Garland Public Library. And when I walked out, though, the line was out the door and out into the parking lot. And they had their drive through booth open as well, which my 98-year-old father voted at a few years back. Okay, so so, uh, how long did it take your son or would that? My ward. He's, He's my ward. Um, I'm responsible for him while his mother's in the nursing home. Oh, and when we, we, I took him home, her mail-in ballot had arrived. So I'm going out tonight for her to do her mail-in ballot so I can get that in the mail for her. But um, it took him about 25 minutes, but I knew it would take him a long time. I saw people who came in well after he did, left well before he did. Uh, because of his cognitive challenges, so I didn't. But I was in. Uh, I was in about fifteen minutes. I, I, I didn't. Um, I didn't get a Dallas ballot. So on the eighteen or whatever propositions, I didn't get to vote on them. Um, I, I just feel I didn't really go over it on the show. But is it just me, or is every single one of those propositions just absolute hot garbage? I know we're not supposed to call anything garbage these days because that's uh, you know that I'm, I'm basically Hitler. You know, like, oh, oh, it's all so many garbage. <laughs> But no, I hated all of them. Like when I read through the paragraph on them, I'm like, all these are not just like bad ideas. These are terrible ideas. Terrible. All of them. I... I I read them to him, tried to explain them. I mean, voting prep for him was an hour. I read them to him, tried to explain them to him, and we agreed on which ones that we definitely were for and definitely against, and we wrote that in very large capital letters. But then there's some I wrote, hey, you choose... Because it's kind of a coin coin flip for you. You don't pay taxes directly. But one was I had question marks. I said, if you want to leave this one blank, that's totally fine with me. Because it was a whole paragraph of chapters and titles. And then the actual action you want to take is, do we want to conform with state law? What gave you nothing to compare by? I was like. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse All right. me on the air, WTF. I mean, I <laughs> Don't, say, just, Don't just say that on the decide. air. All right. Well, yeah. I appreciate the very detailed report from Garland, Sylvia. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Bye. All right. Well, um, let's continue. i got time for a couple more here. This will be Matthew and Garland, your early voting report on WBAP. Go. James, it was a great time. Walked in Garland. I had four people in front of me. The person in front of me was wearing a mask, so I knew immediately. She got, she was, when we got. Shut up. Nuh-uh. She was wearing a mask. Wearing a mask in there. But the the funny thing is, is when she was standing next to me, when you give the license and stuff, the lady looked at her and goes, you already had a mail-in ballot. I looked at both of them. Wait, said that to you or mask lady? To the mask lady. Okay. And she goes, oh, really? And I'm thinking to myself, no, come on, really? Oh. So they took her off somewhere. I didn't see where they they took her, uh, but it it was a cool experience. I was nervous. Uh, but one thing, I, uh, one thing, 
is I, I did not know, and I caught myself where it was only Democrats you could vote for. So I, I like I asked the lady, I said, Man, I don't have to vote for these people, do I? I'm not going to vote for a single Democrat. And I said it real loud. <laughs> a lot of attention when I said it. Everybody looked at me. But I made it, uh, made it uh, a point to say it that loud. Then on top of it, the lady that was with me, helping me, she goes, hey, you missed a Republican right there. I said, thank you. Oh. And so it was a great time, and I saw somebody outside uh, – they're for, taking a picture, first time voting, and I said, hey, good job. And I said, it doesn't matter who you voted for. People over in Afghanistan, you guys could never vote like this. So I said, oh, congratulations. So it's a pretty cool experience. Well, they can vote. They just have to have their wife dress like a ninja when they do it. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. I got time for one more. Stella, if you can do this in under 30 seconds, I'd love to hear your early voting report. Okay, low budget review, Leon County, Texas. I went in Saturday to vote. I was rechecking my ballot. One of the uh, judge election uh, things switched me to Democrat. Everything else is Republican. I mentioned it. They immediately spoiled my ballot. I redid everything, and it switched another one to Democrat uh, on some of the more minor races, uh, and they fixed it, spoiled that ballot, and then I got one that worked correctly. But please, everyone, check your ballot. Wow. Okay. That's um, See, this is why we need to get that out. We hadn't heard from Centerville yet. Yeah. Centerville's like my last exit before I get to that Madisonville Bucky's. But I, I guess you all need to do a little bit better on your voting databases. Thank you very much, Sylvia and Centerville, for your early voting report. If you want to get your early voting report in, 800-288-9227. 800-288-9227. Uh, coming up next, I'll tell you the, the back story on that CNN the former model CNN says Trump groped or whatever. The, the story's worse than you think. And uh, we'll talk to Jim Varney from Real Clear Politics. I'm James Parker. It's The James Show. News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. 800-288-9227 if you want to get in your early voting report. This is Sam in Fort Worth. You're on WBAP. Go. Hey, long time, first time. Um, we voted in the South Fort Worth Granbury subcourthouse location okay. on the very first day of early voting and bro i've never seen as many voters as i saw that day uh it wrapped around the building we were in line for two hours the elderly were falling out two hours Um, two hours we were in the the line for two hours we were ignorant about it we're getting it over with but there were shenanigans two kinds Uh, Uh the technical kind um and the personnel kind uh we got in there um i gave my id first my wife was right behind me I got a ballot, got to a machine. It eats the ballot. Three of them, actually. So, like, I I take a step back. uh, Election guys come to help. And it, 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 sorry, it ate three ballots before it gave me a good screen and a good vote. That whole time, my wife is still at the table. Um, Apparently, her ID didn't scan right. And the guy that was helping her refused to use the voter ID card that we also brought. Okay. He did not, he refused to enter any of those numbers. So it takes three phone calls and another 45 minutes of waiting before an election official says, search for her last name. And for some reason in the system, it couldn't find it, couldn't find her based on either number. But when you search for our last name, you can find her very easily with our address and everything. So there's not like election observers sitting there telling him to do it or backing him up? No, 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 no. Uh, so I finished voting and walked up to check on my wife and her situation. He had just finished saying, I guess you're going to have to vote another day. And she had the clarity of mind, I guess, to approach the Spanish speaking observer judge. I don't know what she was, but she threw out an Udemy and got some help. And Which means help me, people. It, it was weird. It was weird. Okay. Well, I don't like the sound of that, but I'm glad she got to vote. Um, yes, 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 definitely. We stood there and fought okay. for that. And this was at the some annex in Granbury? No, no, no. Uh, South Fort Worth off of Granbury Road. Oh, off of Granbury Road. Okay, gotcha. Yes, okay, well, important report. I'm glad we got it on the record. Thank you, Sam. Yes, sir. Tell your wife we said gracias. A you may just means help me, Yankees. I know most Texans know that, but uh, some of you people, you transplants, need a little... <laughs> Need a little crutch sometimes. Totally understandable. 800-288-9227. Coming up next, we're going to talk with Betsy Brantner-Smith, National Police Association. We're having too many problems 
with these ballot drop boxes. And we have another report of a mass voting fraud scheme in Pennsylvania. Just a swing state. No big deal. We'll talk about that next on The James Show. I'm James Parker. It's News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. James and Rowlett, you're next up on WBAP. What was your early voting experience, sir? Uh, it was quite pleasant. They had um, about six, seven people to register us. Oh, wait, hang on a second. It's not official if I don't play the music. See, now it's all serious. All right, go ahead. Uh, my wife and I went in. We voted. Um, even though we're Dallas County, we're Rowlett. There was no propositions. It was just straight people. So. Yeah, Dallas County doesn't have to vote on it. It's just the city of Dallas that has all the terrible propositions. Right. How long was it? In and um, out? We were in and out in 10 minutes or less. Fantastic. All right. Um, there was, um, I was assisting my wife, and so I had to read off that I wasn't a labor boss or her employer, this little document, because I was assisting her. She's in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it was straightforward. Good deal. Any different than last time you voted? No, sir. All right. Well, that's a solid report. I appreciate it, sir. Have a great You have a great day, too. Uh, Amanda Alvarado, you're next up on WBAP, your early voting report. Go. Yes, it was. Um, it was really good. It was easy. There was only one person in line. I was worried because I have lost my driver's license. So I was worried that I wouldn't be able to vote. But I had my driver's or my uh, voter registration card, and that worked well. Man, I don't know if I even have a voter registration card. Uh, you sound younger. You sound younger than most of our reporters. How old are you? Uh, thirty-five. Twenty? Did you say twenty-five? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Well, I gave you ten years. All right. <laughs> well, I'm glad we have a thirty-five-year-old female. That's a demographic we're working on, Amanda. So spread the word with your friends. Yeah, I will. I All will. right. We'll take it easy out in Alvarado. I appreciate your report. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you, Amanda. Michael in Fort Worth, you're next up on WBAP, your early voting report. Go. Uh, howdy, James. Uh, I stopped in at uh, the Keene uh, City Council office. Uh, you said Keene, like K-E-E-N-E? Yes, uh, okay. yes sir. K-E-E-N-E. And uh, honestly, I walked right in, walked right up to him. So, I mean, it, there was absolutely nobody in line. Uh, very, very smooth. And they made sure to check my ID very well, made sure, you know, I was who I said I was. And, uh Put out the, uh, I know you mentioned it the other day, uh, put out three ballots of how many choose between one of them. Uh, I know you uh, you commented on the, uh, the other day on the radio how odd that was, but that was mm-hmm. another one that did it. So, yeah, well, I, we had a guy call in from Keene, I think, earlier this week and give me an early voting report. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, but nothing shady. Nothing shady at all, actually. They were uh, very, very pleasant. I was sitting there joking, laughing, and cutting up with everybody. So, Well, good. All right. Well, I appreciate the uh, the positive message there. Sounds like everything's going good down in Keene. You should go say hi to Amanda and Alvarado. Y'all are next door neighbors. <laughs> hey there, welcome to the James Show. It's News Talk 820 WBAP now on FM at 93.3. Get in your early voting reports. You can be a freelance reporter on the James Show. 800-288-9227. How are things going out there? Let me hear your voting story. Even if nothing happened, it's good to get it on the record. Dave, Little Elm, you're on the James Show. What'd you see? Hey. Hey, freelance reporting from Denton County. Went to the Salina Fire Station, number three. That's um, still Denton County? That's still Denton County. Okay, fair enough. And uh, about five minutes, uh, got right in there. Uh, paper ballot, bolt on both sides, ran it through the machine, no problem. And the, no, no curtain, the open booths. Um, the, longest, the, the thing that took the longest was the blue voters pulling their heads out of their rear ends so that the poll workers could identify them on their ID. Um, okay, yeah, I haven't had reports of that issue before, but it makes it tracks. It, it's on brand. I can't believe how how many blue voters could you possibly have in Salina? I think there was at least one. Okay. All right. Um, in and out. Hey, I'm glad you mentioned the curtain thing. That's something that uh, kind of fell off on today's reports. So apparently you've been listening to previous shows. Thank you, Dave. Yes, sir. Thanks. All right, let's continue. This is Daniel in White Settlement, if we're still allowed to call it that. Uh, your early voting report on WBAP, go. We had no line. It was five minutes in and out. And uh, like you just mentioned, no curtain. Uh, I, I, I missed the days when we could pull the big candle and uh, have the ka-chunk, you know, when your vote was cast. But no, it was a uh, no line, check the ID, took the paper in, fed it into the machine, took it over to the other machine, fed it in, that's it, in and out. Yeah, we've never had curtains in Texas, have we? I don't remember that when when I was voting here previously. Way back when, when you had to do the little 
big lever machine, and it would punch your ballot for you, and it was really satisfying. I, I miss that. Oh, uh, the one that actually poked through on the the paper, like having a hanging chat or what? Uh, from... Yeah, yeah. See, I didn't get to vote that far back. So, all right. Well, <laughs> I know I'm I'm kind of old, but there's still some older people that listen to WBAP. People older than me. So, all right. Well, thank you very much for your report, Daniel White Settlement. Thank you. Yeah, that was mine. Five minutes in and out. There was absolutely no line when I got there. I just walked in. Showed my ID. He scanned it, handed it back. I got this little piece of paper. It looked like a blank Scantron, but it had my info at the top. I go put it in one machine, make my votes. I have to take it out, put it in another machine. Zzz, I'm done. It's in the record, but the, also there's a paper backup. That's what I like to see. 